people, this is Viva La Android, and today I have a new series, it's called Pimp My Android. I'm going to show you how to pimp up your home screen, all the stuff with widgets and icon sets and launchers. I recently posted a video, top 10 apps, and you guys see my home screen, a lot of you asking for the widget, for the icons, for the launcher. So I thought, why not make a video dedicated for all this and showing you how to get exactly like this. You don't have to go exactly for this look, you can make it however you want to, but I'm going to show you how to. So before we get started, I want you guys to show me some love and actually go down there and hit that like button if you guys do enjoy these videos. So anyways, let's get started with the first one and this is uh, my own widget that I made using the app UCCW. So I'll have a link down below for each app I name. So I used UCCW to make this widget right here, my Viva La Android widget. If you do want this Viva La Android widget, I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video. It's going to be a zip file, but once you get the zip file, download it, and, and then you're going to want to launch UCCW after you download that zip folder that I'll have down below of that file. You're going to want to go into open and open uzip. So once you do click that, you're going to want to go to the place that your internet browser downloads from. It's most likely that it's going to be in the downloads folder. So you're going to go scroll and go to the download and you'll see Viva La Android right here. But I don't have it right now. It'll be called Viva La Android. You click it and then it should come up right here. After that, you're going to click save and save skin. After you do that, you save the widget, you can go to your app drawer and go, and go to UCCW, any size you want because you can resize it. You choose which one and then you drag it out and put it and it should look like this. The second thing that pops out is the icons. I actually reviewed these icons on my last top 10. They're really good. They're based on a black theme, so they're not bright and like white. So they're mostly black. If I go to my apps right here. So the developer himself is actually on top with this icon set he keeps updating the app with more icons more wallpapers and they look really good i got asked this question a lot in my last video you guys downloaded the icon set but couldn't use it that's because icon sets only work with custom launchers so like nova launcher apex launcher action launcher any launcher from the play store would work from the launcher that i'm using is nova launcher and so once you do get nova launcher press menu and then go to nova settings and go to desktop right here desktop grid you can make it however much you want so we can go all the way up to 12 by 12. so another feature that i have right here so all you guys see is right here is apps they're not really all apps so let's say I take Instagram, it goes to Instagram, of course that's what you would expect. If you swipe up on Instagram, it's going to open a folder filled with my photo editing apps. And now I put these in here and I hit it into to look like just an app. And now this one looks like an app, if you just click that one, it's going to open a folder. I have another one right here, if you click this, it's going to go into exposed installer, but if you swipe up on it, it's going to take you to a folder with my root application. So I'm going to drag another app on top of this what would happen is see two icons right there showing you that it's a folder if you click it it's gonna be a folder I'll drag another one in there for another example you'll see that there's three icons right there now but the way to change this is that with Nova Launcher if you do hold down on this and go to edit you can actually change the icon of this to make it look like one icon instead of a folder let's click this right here if you don't see black moon right here just swipe and you'll see black moon wait for it to load because it does have a bunch of icons and i'm going to take uh any icon for an example like like this one right here the controller so now the icon is right there it looks like one application and now you're going to want to check this box right here that says swipe to open folder after that you're going to go to the tap action so once you tap it you're going to want to make it do a command like go to an app or anything you want it doesn't have to be an app you can make it do a command you can make it do a shortcut or you can make it go to an app I'm gonna make it go to Flappy Bird because it's a game and now after you're done you wanna name the folder so I'll name it Flappy Bird to fool people and I'll click done right here and click check so right now it says Flappy Bird and if I do click it it's gonna take me into Flappy Bird but if I go back and swipe up on this it's gonna take me to the folder so that's a really cool feature right there and you can do this with any other application you don't have to make it into a folder. Let's say for this app right here, I changed the icon. I didn't like the icon. So let's say you don't like this icon right here. You can click edit. You can change the icon to whatever you want. Just have fun with it. Make it your own. So one more thing is that my backgrounds, a lot of you asked for them. I actually found a new app for wallpapers, which is really good. So the wallpaper app itself is called Face It. And I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video. You'll see that it goes by month. It goes by months and 
I'll click August 2013 and after you click August it's gonna give you all the wallpapers from August yeah you can go through all these and I'll take this one dark flow you can swipe down to buy the print so you can buy it and actually hang it up or you can save the image which just saves it to your galley but if you swipe up it's gonna load and you can set it as your wallpaper I'll set it right here as wallpaper so I'll go back and now it's set you see it's taken away from the look of the icons and everything because it is so edgy and sharp so we'll use this app right here called the Lotus to actually blur out the image so you can take a pick image and current wallpaper and you can mess around with these settings right here to actually blur it out I'll blur out a little bit more like this much check it so now after that then you're gonna go back home and you'll see it's blurred out and one more thing a lot of you asked for my font so this font right here you can install it if you have a Samsung device other than that if you don't have a Samsung device you're gonna have to be rooted to install this font so you're gonna have to get the app iFont I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video and go to the English section and scroll all the way down till you get to the T's In the T's you're gonna see the font called tungsten you're gonna click that and install it's gonna require that you do reboot your phone after you reboot your phone this font installed but once you do get this font installed you want to go into settings and then go to display and font size just put it on the highest or as big as you want because it does this font is really small so it's gonna make your font look really small smaller than usual so just make it bigger to look more normal if you guys got any questions just comment down below and I will answer them and if you guys like this series and the pip my Android series make sure to smash that like button so I can provide you with more of these Alright guys, that's about it, and yeah, you've just been pimped, Android for life, peace. Forget the past, really I don't know today, I could be your tour guide, I think you should go away, don't know where you need to be, I don't know what you see in me, but I think that it's ludicrous, ludicrous, that's DTP, your fraction of your friction is